What's going on guys, welcome back to another international man the match play review We are going to be looking at Shakiri for his hat-trick yesterday He played awesome and now he has a man of the match card in a center attack in midfield or I think this is the first time ever that we get to try him out in that position Now if you guys are looking for a cheap reliable place to get you coins check out battle.com The link will be in the description and use the code Itani to get 5% off His biggest selling point for me, his shooting Both feel like 99 I'm serious long shots and shot power feel like 99 he actually feels like he has one of the strongest shots in the game and you will see a couple of nice long shots from him uh, in this video both against Neuer who is the best keeper in the game one where he's not even sprinting I just shoot it and it ends up in the back of the net Neuer doesn't even bother trying to save it and as you guys know, Neuer, it's nearly impossible sometimes to score against him. Now, one of the biggest disadvantages for me with uh, Shakiri in the center attack and midfielder role, his finishing is is just unreliable. You'll see a couple of clips in the video as well where he just doesn't finish. Basically, sitters. I'm trying to finesse it past goalkeepers and they always save it inside the penalty area. So this guy was definitely more effective outside the penalty area than inside. His passing, even though his attributes aren't that great, he actually set up a couple of my strikers and you'll see that in the video also. And heading wise, he's not going to win anything. I think he's like five foot six, five foot seven. And his heading accuracy and jumping ac uh, jumping at attributes aren't that great either. So forget about him winning any headers, especially when the goalkeeper, when your opponent's goalkeeper kicks it out, your uh, well, the other midfielders are just gonna always win it. Um, his heading, like I said, is bad. Finishing is bad. And one more bad thing about him is he is certainly weak. So don't expect him to bully anyone off the ball. He's gonna be bullied very, very easily himself. Now, finesse shots are awesome outside the penalty area. Just inside, he just doesn't finish for some reason, which is quite strange. Um, long shots and shooting, like I said, is the biggest selling point. He has awesome pace. And this is something that I noticed on the counter attack. He helped me a lot. And every time I'm, I was on the counter attack, he would set up Aubameyang or Mandzukic or Son. I, I varied it with Son and Mandzukic in the squad builder. But seriously, he actually played really, really well in the center attack and midfielder role. I did move him up to a striker role, but I don't know. I didn't like him there because he just seemed too weak for my, for my liking. So center attack in mid actually gave me more opportunities to take long shots with him and actually get them on target. And another thing I really liked about him is his dribbling. As a centre attack midfielder, you could take advantage more of his dribbling rather than him being on the right mid. And uh, he's just so easy to dribble past defenders with and take long shots. He is just so effective in that position. It's unbelievable. It's like he's made to be in that position, centre attack in mid. So that is all there is to it, to it for this play review. He also has full star skills and full star weak foot. Just basically nearly completing the package without those disadvantages. Now I'm going to tell you guys one thing. If your player out is close to mine you will love this guy but if you're not a fan of shooting outside the box then you might want to look elsewhere for a burst center second mid so hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys have a very nice day